Hello everyone, welcome back to 20 Minutes Till Dawn. I'm still chasing the Darkness 15 wins with all characters and all weapons, and I think we're just going to keep it basic here with Diamond starting with 7 HP and a shotgun. We'll see how that goes for us. As we load in, we start with our shield, of course. Now, the 2 max ammo capacity is a tricky part of this, along with just the reload time. Not being the slowest, but something that we do have to consider as we're moving through. What else do I want right now? I think just bullet damage and knockback. If I could have these guys be more likely to die in a single spread of shotgun fire rather than having to double tap individual targets. That's going to be good for me. Grabbing all of that XP along the way. Movement speed going to be very important for us, especially going into that first boss later. The lack of range is going to make attacking them as they dash towards us reasonably tricky, I would think. So, if I could find some way of doing more damage at range, that would be really nice. Probably it would have to be some kind of summon for that, I think. Glare is not a bad thing to have with our shotgun's short range, but I think I'm going to take light weaponry for now. So that's going to go around doing 27 damage to foes that it touches. And considering that a lot of our shotgun blasts are going to kind of weaken enemies but not kill them, having the dagger going around defeating the injured ones is certainly good for us. I think a dragon egg this early as well. We'll get that in three minutes. You see there the animation for healing as we hit level 5, although we have full health, so we don't actually get any benefit from that right now. But every 5 levels, we get the opportunity to heal for 1 HP. Squeeze through that gap. Lightning, big bullet damage, lower fire rate or fire. I'm going to take this heavy weaponry. That's also going to do 27 damage or so to foes around us, or 16 apparently. Not sure how that's working out, but in any case, we have lots of ways to damage the stuff very close to us, which with a shotgun is going to be a lot of stuff. Uh, fire rate I'm not really interested in because we have so few rounds to shoot before we have to reload. But a second dagger is not bad. Soon we should be able to take Sharpen and then all three of our blades, the two daggers and the scythe, will have increased damage. Which is certainly no bad thing on my account. Get those explosive ones there. Make sure we're collecting as much of this XP as we conveniently can. Master reload rate. I will grab that. I would not mind either an increase in our ammunition or some of the effects that occur when we fire our last shot. Because with two rounds, we're firing our last shot very often. field of XP here. Aged Dragon, your dragon gains 8 damage every 60 seconds. Well, with functionally 16 rounds of 60 seconds to go, we'll pick that up. There is our first mini boss. Let's get as much fire into that as soon as we can before the crowd comes. And here comes said crowd. Harder to hit with low piercing and low range. Explosives helping us out in that regard. 
the explosive foes, more specifically. Uh, we could keep going all in on our summons. Go on then. If nothing else, they're going to give us more abilities to do damage at range, which we're suffering a lack of. There is the chest that we want. Unfortunately, attempting to get it prematurely has seen our shield be destroyed. Increase fire rate and reload rate by 10% permanently every time you get hit. I mean, it's not bad, but so far we haven't been hit. Losing the shield does not qualify. And we just hit level 10, unfortunately. Had that have happened at level 9, I would have tanked a hit to go down to 6 HP before then having the opportunity to heal up again. But we'll worry about that more in the future. We'll get Trained Dragon going as well, so that our dragon, when it does hatch, can be as powerful as possible. Still looking for Sharpen to get all of our summons doing more damage. There is one hit for us. Obviously, Diamond, starting with 7 HP, has more to work with with regards to taking damage, being able to heal it later, and then get advantages from that chest power to heal us as we go. Uh, double shot. I'm not so interested in one projectile on top of four for less 10% damage. Not so good, I don't think, for us right now. I'm going to take Glare. It's going to hurt stuff around us as well. As we approach that 5 minute mark, uh, 15 minute mark, sorry, 5 minutes into the run. When that first boss is going to spawn. There's the red fence, there's the boss. And it is going to be dashing a lot around us. I'm going to take the 10% movement speed. That was awfully timed on my part. Yeah, this is not going well. I hate this guy. Our shield is back, that's nice. Our reload rate has obviously improved now that we've been hit three times. This boss does present to us the biggest danger in kind of the first 15 minutes of the game. Enemies explode into three bullets when killed. Vision range plus 25% range uh, damage from glare is doubled. I'm going to take the exploding enemies for now. I've just got to keep moving on really tight angles around this guy. Whilst also trying to give ourselves space to move into, which is its own challenge. There he goes. Right. Get rid of a bunch of this chaff. Thanks. Tome of power. Bullet damage plus 50%. Bullet size plus 100%. Piercing plus 1. Fire rate minus 25%. HP minus 1. Not bad. Move speed increase or fire rate spread. Bullet damage knockback. Well, we don't want fire rate really. So we'll take tome of power here. Yeah, I figured we were going to get hit because... The tome pickup does not knock the enemies around you back, like when you level up. Okay. Sight magic, vision range plus 15%. The damage from glare also applies on hit effects. Increased bullet damage and move speed. Let's get that going. We get some healing back from passing level 15. Our dragon here, doing good work for us now. There's a 
feast of XP getting corralled in there. Even with our fast... Oh, there you go. That's more like it. Really fast reload rates now. Uh, summon attack speed plus 50%. I'm going to take. That's going to mean our daggers and everything else move around faster. As well as our dragon and our ghost friend firing faster. And we're just going to keep piling into this massive stack of XP up here until we get a chance to move through it, which might be right now. That's a good start. More max HP. I think Dragon Bond, though. Your bullets deal additional damage equal to 10% of your dragon's damage. Our dragon is getting stronger all the time. That means our bullets are going to be getting stronger all the time as well. More HP. Magic Lens. I think Frost Mage will be fine. Right, with that large pool of XP consumed, we're not so invested in maintaining that particular spot. Although immediately, it seems like just as much XP populates itself around there. We do not have the fire rate to sustain the approaches from all these creatures from all sides. Frostbite, magic lens, double shot. I don't know. Take frostbite. I would love to get frozen enemies when destroyed explode. Or frozen enemies when struck by lightning explode. Not that we have any lightning effects just yet. This is cozy. This is cozy. This is cozy. I'm having the strangest sense of deja vu right now. Okay. Summon damage. Ghost friend points towards where you're going. Damage from glare also applies on hit effects. More fire rate. We'll take in sync. Great 90s boy band. Honestly, I couldn't name an N sync song if I wanted to. Alright, we're managing this crowd reasonably well, I would say. Let's take some more reload rate while our shield is up. It's going to be really bad when we do get hit because not only will our shield bonuses go, but if we get hit again, we'll lose 40% of our movement speed and our fire rate. Ice shard. When shooting your last ammo, also shoot three additional ice shards that inflict freeze. This is big for us. Bullet damage plus 45% would also probably be quite good, but I'm going to take Ice Shard for now. Let's move around this tree. It wouldn't be the first time that I've accidentally run into a tree. Okay, this is certainly one of the cozier runs I've ever gotten into. And as we approach the 10 minute mark, that is when we expect the relationship of the enemies to change into leeches instead of brains, but sharpen for summon damage plus 40% is great. Already at level 23, just carving our way through these crowds, doing wonders for our level. I think I might have destroyed a tree somewhere around here, because it feels a bit more open than it did a moment ago. Uh, every second shot cooldown lightning, well that's going to be a lot of our shots given we're double tapping everything. It's a shame we can't really get more range for when bosses and elites come along. Shatter. 
Enemies afflicted by freeze explode when killed, deal damage to nearby enemies equal to 10% of their max HP. Lovely. There's some more healing, so we're back up to 6 because we did spend 1 of our max HP on the Devil's Book that we collected. That pentagram symbol for the different tomes. And as you can see, things now much quieter. Gives us the opportunity to go around and hoover up a bunch of this XP. And then things will just get gradually busier up to the five minute mark when another boss and a red fence will come round. Although another mini, another elite mini boss, whatever you'd call it, will appear before that. Uh, reload rate plus 5%. Increased bullet damage for 50% for one second after reloading. Well, we always fire both of our shots one second after reloading. So, this is great news for us. We can just melt these guys approaching us now. And I think we're going to be fine until that first time we do take damage again. In which case, a lot of our stats and stuff are going to kind of fall by the wayside all at once. So we want to be extra cautious. Obviously, with frozen enemies exploding, there's our mini boss. Dense crowds aren't as scary a prospect for us in that regard, but as long as we have somewhere to move into, otherwise... We don't have enough ammunition to attack into the crowd and clear out a route for ourselves at the same time in any great reliability. And these guys that shoot the red tear shots, I just hate. They're my biggest fear right now. Some XP up here. We'll try and as much of this as we can in our loop round. I would like that elite with the red hue around it to be dead by the time we get to the five minute mark and the next mini boss comes in. I'm sorry that I change up between saying boss, mini boss and elite completely interchangeably for both the elites and the bosses because they're not so distinguished apart from the red fences that have come around them, I assume, makes the difference between an elite and a boss. There goes that guy releasing his chest, so we need to try and do a lap round and clear out some of this crowd. Uh, let's get more glare going, I guess. Did I not take plus 10% from thing and thing? 10% speed if we have our shield up? Yes, I didn't. Increase bullet size and bullet damage and bullet size by 15% permanently every time you heal. That's good. So, ironically, we actually want to be hurt once before we get to level 30. But at the same time, to do so would mean giving up the stats that we've gotten from not being hurt for 40 seconds. So, in this situation, I think I'm just going to try and utilise what I have, and then if we gain more stats from being hurt, then we'll take that as a silver lining to taking damage. Let's take Pyromage. We can work our way up to Soothing Warmth in the last few minutes perhaps now at the oh god at the five minute mark all of these small enemies including these guys and the brains will start to do double damage in the last five minutes so that is something we need to be aware of these dense crowds actually working in our favor for enemies exploding if they're frozen, as well as 
shooting out these tiny little shots when... Oh no, that's the XP. The, the tiny shots when they die, they shoot six shots around them for 10% damage as well. We're now shooting a fireball out every third shot or so. Something like that. That's setting our enemies on fire. And then if we can get soothing warmth, all of those are lit enemies. Are light enemies. We'll have a chance to heal us. Let's just get as many of these folks dead as possible before the crowd thins out at the five minute mark when the next boss appears. No soothing warmth here. Lightning stuff doesn't really help us. We'll take bullet damage plus 45%. Our two shots are going to get out ever so slightly slower, but at the same time, we're going to be killing things faster, so... It also means our summons that are linked to our bullet damage are doing far more damage. There goes level 30, so we did not get a chance to heal off of that for any kind of stat benefit. And there is the next mini boss. I need to carve out a way out of here. That when we're attacking an individual enemy, not nearly as quick to die. Our dragon and our ghost firing further at range for us. So we have two, four, six HP. I'm going to take a seventh HP because I now expect to lose two HP per hit. And if you have six, that's three hits. If you have seven, that's four hits because you get that odd one on the end. Now, if we get too close to this thing, with the many eyeballs, it will shoot five lasers out around it. And if we get caught in that laser, we will be hit. There they are. Or, you know, the enemies around us will also just explode and hit us. And you see now our fire rate and our stats diminished because we get more stats while we have our shield up, I think. And simply more stats every 10 seconds which resets when we get hit now the 4 minute mark passed which means the fence has dropped as I really try and navigate these crowds get some XP Intense burn, bullet damage piercing, bullets additionally pierced and en killed enemies. Let's take that because to pierce through killed enemies and then carry on killing stuff will surely be good for clearing this crowd, as you can see. Just melting away in front of us. That guy is dead, leaving another one of those on the ground. Intense burn. Burn damage plus 35%. Right. Tome of summoning. Summon damage plus 50%. Summon attack speed plus 50%. Reload rate slows down. I really don't think we can take the reload rate slowing down. Bullet bounce plus 2. Bullet damage minus 25%. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I thought I... Oh, I do have 7. It's just empty. I'm going to opt out of this, I think. I'm quite happy with what we've constructed so far and how much health I have. If we can get to level 35, we will heal one of those HP. When you inflict freeze, also inflict burn for 6 damage per second. That's great. Just attacking into the densest part of the crowd. Reloading quickly. We do more damage for the first second after we reload, which is effectively every shot we fire. Every time we fire our last shot, we shoot out three extra bullets that free stuff. Intense glare, more HP, but less movement speed. I don't love it. Let's go more glare. I want that red thing to be dead. I assume it's just kind of a big fast thing, because I've never seen it do 
anything more specific than just exist and pursue. Two and a half minutes to go. It's dead. I'm going to grab that chest very quickly. When Diamond's HP is at or below half of max HP, increase piercing plus two and knockback plus 25%. Well, we don't need it, but I'm grateful to have it. Let's take Magnetism to collect as much XP as we can in these thick crowds. You can just watch the waves of ice and death move backwards through the really dense parts of the crowd. Pick up range plus 20%, sure thing. feeling reasonably confident. We've got plenty of HP still. Here come the leeches with wings. Uh, fire rate. Saccade. Vision range increase. Damage occurs twice. We'll take that. Okay, we have to look out for the red shots. That's now the biggest way I'm going to accidentally take a bunch of damage by walking into one of those in this crowd. The walking speed increase, I don't need it in this area. Vision range, pickup range, sure. Level 39, if we get hit, we will have a chance to heal at 40. But we still have our shield, so we'd have to get hit multiple times, I think. Could be wrong. It might be that two damage equates to our shield being lost and us being hurt. I'm not sure if the hitboxes are exactly the same. Ah, we got hit by a red shot. I thought I'd make it in between the gap between two of them. There's level 40. Ghost friend some shoots two additional shots plus some more summon damage. 50 seconds to go. I can't imagine we're going to get hit four times in 45 seconds, but stranger things have happened. Firing into the densest part of the crowd all of our effects working on top of one another 25 seconds to go another level give me give me that extra fire rate how fast can we pump out two bullets fifteen seconds we're gonna be fine that's gonna be another two achievements in the bag we're not gonna get to level 42 I don't think that's fine. We don't need level 42 where we're going. Shotgun mastery and strong woman. Alright, let's look at that menu. There we go. Three heroes, three weapons. Nearly halfway there. For now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.